Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Partnership with restaurants and grocery stores works great. Any surplus food comes right here. Peter! What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where did she find it? I'm really not sure. Why? What is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Veteran homelessness is down, but still way too high. Good thing my buddy Flash Thompson's doing his best to fix that. I could patch these shoes. They'll last a while. Looks like May's not in yet. Man, was I ever a dork. Well, we all have an awkward face. Miss you. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Wish May would take some of this down. It's embarrassing. So, I got the job. May's recommendation really helped. People know that when she says something, she means it. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city.
spider plushie. Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. All units, we have a vehicle chase in progress. Report came in from Little Italy. We don't need you here right now, right? Would you look at that? Half the crime tower's back up already. When spider cops on the job, come hell or high water, the job gets... Nope, nope, nope. Nope. She'd never admit it, but the chief was warming up to Spider Cop. His casual disregard for by the book thinking was a breath of fresh air. She'd come around. Someday. Infamous dumpling recipe. Should have come with step 10. Try not to burn everything in MJ's apartment. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I mean, I, I didn't forget, forget. I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry. I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. All units, civilians are trapped in their vehicles following a severe accident. Please proceed to Chelsea ASAP. does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. 
Peter Parker. How the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. <sighs> Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. Wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. I should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. Harry left me a message about these before he left for Europe. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but it sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, um, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high and rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff, anyway. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe. <laughs> I must be freaking these people out. Ah, what else is new? Huh. The toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos.
Best smokestack picture I ever took. Great light on that one. Perfect. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped the public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was, but one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman, actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. Herman, long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Wanna play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa! Your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You wanna fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? Me so young and stupid? You just stupid! You talk too much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, with it, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I don't, don't kill me! Okay, catch this one with your face! You come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Don't let me have the money! Sorry, it's not gonna happen. anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. 
on yourself. Literally. Man, he was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey, the Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on Demon... Uh, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. Fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. When MJ and I applied for this lease, I thought we'd move in together. Instead, we broke up. I can be pretty oblivious sometimes. Chala got his powers from being bitten by a radioactive panther. Dude's tough, but that'd still probably hurt. Got it. Doc left a message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another job. I have a plan. Give me a bit of time. We may yet live to invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. That's great news. Hope his plan works. Attention units. Requesting backup for officers under fire. Officers near Vanderbilt, be advised. Hey, so I looked into reports of demons. I knew you'd come around. They've been pretty busy tonight, hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? Bruce. gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, 
Hey, Yuri. Any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Tower is so cool, but they're never around to use it. I think they're probably somewhere on the west coast right now. Probably surfing or something. Still not sure if opening this would set the Sandman free, but I'm in no hurry to find out. PG to wake you up. Got it, boss. Tripling security. Demons won't touch a thing. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup. That don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check. Eagle 2, you up? Eagle 2 reporting in. Eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. Whatever it is, I don't want it in Fisk's or the demons' hands. Snipers everywhere. A lot of junk scattered around here. A well-placed web shot could make a great distraction. Did. Demons have been hitting other locations. That sniper has a guard watching him. May need to divide and conquer. You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. 
What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. I'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. I'd go myself, but you know, not Spider-Man. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Okay, where's that locked door? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Yeah, got it. If we can overload it, that should force the door open. I've been working on electric webbing. This is the perfect field test. Sit tight. Electric web for the win. The gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. Started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. Did that work? Nah. Must not be the right box. Keep looking. Thanks. No way I could have unlocked this myself. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. We got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. Pay dirt. Scrape, no door. None I can see anyway. Great. Be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight. I'll pull you up. Yeah! Second floor. Rusted machine parts. Big honking rats. <laughs> Careful. The bridge is out. I got this one. <laughs> nice. Stuck the landing and everything. We're not all donut eaters. <laughs> Fair enough. Another secret door. I'll rig the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it. <laughs> Found one. Nailed it. Hell yeah, you did. Hey. Check this out. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. But look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. Ah, found it. Clear. You were right, Jeff. Trap door. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone.
big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. The place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. It sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Come on, let's go! Damn. Demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an armory. Or was. Smash and grab. They were moving fast. Got empty crates here. And it looks like they took the ones they didn't clean out. They didn't want the non-lethal stuff. They passed up smoke grenades, flashbangs. There's a fenced-off room here they didn't bother with. Too much effort to break in where you can just peel back the wire mesh over this gun rack. There. They blew the locks to get in. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! Trucks full of gunmen in one day. It's time to hang up the web. I know, I'm a jerk. Decides to run on time.
We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you, and they thrive on controversy. So what's your angle? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep.